Now the biodynamic farmers, um, and they're also, you know, the, the biodynamic farmers aren't all the same, but they still try to follow the principles of Rudolf Steiner, and that is that the farm should be an organism, and so everything that you use on the farm should be produced on the farm. That's the ideal, at least. And then, um, you know, a lot of people in the biodynamic movement make uh, the preparations, which are used as sort of the signature issue, you know, that makes them different. And to some extent that's true, but I've always appreciated the way Rudolf Steiner framed that. And for him, the preparations were not a magical fix to anything on a farm. And if you didn't manage the farm as an organism, so that it was kind of self-renewing and self-regulating, then the preparations weren't going to do any good. The preparations were only able to enhance the capacities of, and the energy uh, cycles, etc., of that kind of closed system. And, um, and then his, his notion that you always had to pay attention to the inner workings of nature, which at least said to me that he understood that nature was an evolving, living process, and you had to pay attention to that. So, you know, what you thought was the right farming method 20 years ago might not be today. And I've certainly learned that on our own farm. What I thought was sustainable 30 years ago would not be sustainable today at all because too many things have changed in the whole natural process. And so I think those are some of the key issues around uh, biodynamic agriculture that I think are really important. That, and they're going to be important not only to biodynamic farmers, but to some extent they're going to be important to all farmers.